And morning guys, this is Greg Christensen from Grandview Livestock. Hey, we're fixing to uh, move these sheep on the, oh, down the road about another mile. It'll be closer to the house, then we'll work them on uh, Monday there probably. But they've worked this pasture over pretty good. There's, you can see what they did to that, that uh, hedge tree there. And this locust tree is uh, pretty well worked over. And oh, there's still some some grass they could eat here, but it'll come back a lot quicker, and we can graze it one more time yet this year. So we'll uh, take them off of here, move them oh within a half mile from where we'll work them on Monday, and then we'll get them up Sunday night work them Monday will take all day it's a there's so oh, I don't know over 400 sheep and then uh, some goats in here too so uh, we're gonna move them past oh, a couple houses and things I'll try to get some video uh, things get a little dicey we like to keep them out of people's yard as best we can but they really don't hurt anything uh, so here we go Well, some of them were holed up in the shade already this morning. But nice thing about sheep and goats is you bar rarely get one that's just going to hold back and and stay in the shade, sole up or something like like your cattle will do. Um, you know, if they do, if there is one like that, it's probably sick or wormy or, or some it's got some other problem. So we'll uh, gather them here, get everybody together. And well, once they start moving, the other ones just kind of drag up and start following them. You know, you get some motion going. We're going to move them up close to the gate, and then we'll open the gate and push them out. We don't want a bunch of them already strung out the gate and then, uh, you know, have this whole procession be a mile long or something. So we get them all up, gathered, push them towards the gate. So we'll go up there and open the gate, and then we'll put them all out together. You can see some of them kind of heading for the shade, but they'll come out and follow them others as soon as we turn them up towards the gate. See those up here under the shade? Now they're coming out on their own already, following the group. And that's a nice thing about sheep and goats. If those was cows, well, they would want to stay in there worse you have to go make sure you got everybody out from under the shade tree and we'll double check make sure we got everybody here I'll uh, show you this I don't know what happened here we a dead you in the pond and that's just uh, they don't like to get in water at all uh, it's pretty rare only one other time that I found one like that and it was alive and I could tell it had been attacked by a predator or a dog or something and it ran into the pond it ran into the pond to get safe and it got stuck in the pond actually we got it out it was still alive we didn't know it was and uh, that's what happened then but I don't know if that was the case here I don't know any other reason that that you would be out in the middle of this pond and, and drown like this but it does, she doesn't appear to be stuck She's on her side, um, but you know that's uh, that's the sheep and goat business. So, so there you go. So we got them gathered here. Travis is going to go up there and open the gate, but uh, so that way they're all together. You just want to take everybody all at once, all through the gate, on down the road. It's a nice, tight little group. It's easier to control. I don't know about you guys, I, I never get tired of doing this. Maybe you guys get tired of watching it. But uh, I don't know. you can fast forward through it or you can turn it off. But uh, I don't know. it's just part of the fun stuff. That fixing a water leak, that's not part of the fun stuff, but it's just part of it too. Oh, 
Oh yeah. So you open the gate, there they go. They know what's going on. They're ready to leave. They always like a new pasture. They know they're gonna get something better. They go down the road or go wherever we're gonna take them. They get fairly easy to handle. You kind of keep doing this. So we've done this enough now that <clears throat> the guard dogs are used to what we're doing. They're used to uh, the working dog, Autumn and, and Bit coming up here. And so it's, the more you do it, just the, the better it works. Yeah, sheep, sheep are about the easiest thing to move. Goats are probably the next, cattle more difficult. Bison probably the worst, I don't know. I never handled bison. We're gonna just let them eat a little bit of this three Celespides and things out of this little CRP patch along the way. Then we get to pe towards people's house, we'll speed them up. Try to keep them just from going in their yard so much. Yeah, Quinn will go down there and just kind of keep them from going too fast. You get some that want to run, you get some that want to lollygag. They get strung out. Then he can block a driveway or something if he needs to. And uh, we'll get them all kind of bunched up a little bit. side of the road, which is alright, but then you get these all the gaggers, stretching everybody out. Once if you come through the gate, the rest of them will come on through. Well, here we go. Mission accomplished. Well, we had a little more problem. Had a few spills in some driveways and things. I knew we were in trouble. We opened the gate and about half the ewes took off running and uh, we were left with a bunch of lambs in the back. 
soon as we gathered them up and slowed them up and got everybody together, it went better. We'll leave them in here over the weekend and we'll work on them Monday morning. Be a big day.